everybody. I hope wherever you are, the weather is getting nicer. Winter storms seem to be letting up around here, although it is, um, it's very wet, very wet. So lots of things are melting. Anyway, I am really excited today. We are going to talk about the This Life collection, which has got to be my favorite ever in the entire world. And I've been working with um, Adventure Park the last few weeks and combining that with school time and then a little bit of Scrap Happy too to show how nicely um, collections can be combined to make really awesome things happen. Um, but now we are going to add in the My Life collection and it is, it is absolutely the best. So let's go ahead and just get right over there to my desktop. So here we go and we're gonna pull it up and you're gonna see how amazing this is. Now, we talked about how there were not Fast Fab pages for the um, Adventure Park, and we used the school times, but look at this, look at this. These pages are perfect to go with that Adventure Park that I've been using. The colors are perfect, they are bright, and they are happy, and they just fill me with so much joy. So, um, the whole collection has lots of different papers and things. I'm going to show off some of those. And then we're going to build using the one thing, the one and only thing that this collection didn't have. Um, and that would be, let's see. Oh, they're so pretty. They're so pretty. These colors are so vibrant. And that would be um, laser cut paper. There was not laser cut paper in this collection. But look at how beautifully this Scrap Happy 2 is going to go with it. So it's super fun when you can combine things. Let's just take a quick peek at uh, what we have to work with. So we can combine this right in with our adventure park. And we have these beautiful papers, the banner on one side and the, and the yellow on the other. So these are a really um, big icon paper. And so what's nice is that the other side of the paper is a very nice tonal paper for each one. And so you can combine them beautifully. Look, this is little hearts, little tiny hearts on this. So pretty. And then big hearts on the other side. And then we've got the purple. And this is my favorite sheet, of course. This beautiful flower paper is so pretty. And it's just really nice whenever they have um, a big uh, design like this to put the tone on tones on the other side. So, okay, so we're gonna move this over here and I'm gonna talk a little bit about our tonal papers. So the it also comes with a tone on tone pack and there's one sheet of each tone on tone paper in each pack, but look, the other side can really go nice together. They're slightly different patterns, but if you want a side by side, you can make that happen. So all of these pretty tonals are gonna go beautifully with the um with the beautiful paper that we just looked at the designer so that all goes together and then they gave us stickers galore so the stickers are absolutely beautiful um and they come in these little these little uh strips so if you are the type of person that really likes the look of the layered stickers but you never know what goes together then this is for you because these stickers all have the little lines going and you just put all these things together and there's even a little uh, chart that you can get from your advisor so if you're with me just ask me um, and if you're with somebody else ask your person and they'll give you a little printout which shows you exactly how to put these little these little uh, lines together and then check this out there are ABCs in this really fun pattern. It looks really, really goofy. I'm gonna pull one of these up just so that you can see. When you take it off of the sheet and you can actually see the number and you layer that onto say a piece of paper, it's gonna look really nice. But I had somebody say that was, that was buggy and then I pulled one off and I showed her and she was like, oh yeah, yeah, that's really pretty then. And then of course numbers, which are super fun. So um, we also have my favorite mats and these mats have lots of places for writing, which is great. I know not everybody is a, is a journaler, but you should be, because if we don't tell the story, then people are not gonna remember it. And then we're gonna use a little bit of this in our in our class. And I'm also gonna show you something with peekaboos. So lots of things happening in this class, um, but these are so cute. They are uh, little, little words to go on your page. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with our cutting and looking at what we're gonna do. 
So I just want to put this on our page and we're going to put it kind of like this. But remember, we're going to put our um, pictures into the frame first. That's the best way to make these frames work. And so I'm going to grab these photos and we're going to do um, my husband and daughter made bagels together. And that was super fun. And when you look at these openings, you want to just measure them and see how big they are. So if I cut a four by four picture, um, it's going to be, it's going to have a little bit more of a border around it, but it's going to allow me to put it into the frame and have it stick to the paper. So let's just come over here and cut down to her hands, cut off her cute little chin. And we're just making our, making our four by four pictures. So there we go. And then over here, I'm going to cut off as much as I want to in this direction. And then I'm going to come over here and snag this. And then I am going to go ahead and cut my circular ones. So the circles you just want to take a look at and you want to um, see what size you're going to need. So if you look, this is the perfect size to go in there. So if I use the red blade, it's going to be just a little tiny bit bigger than that opening. And that's perfect because that gives me the room I need to put it behind there. So I'm going to grab these two pictures, move over to my cutting mat, and we're going to put it down. Now these came with little templates that shows you exactly where it cuts. But if you just remember that the red blade is always going to cut the closest to the pattern. And then the um, green blade is going to cut an eighth of an inch bigger. And the blue blade is another eighth of an inch bigger than that. And that way you can quickly and easily do it because I don't know about you, but I do not take the time always to line my, um, line my little template up. So you're going to take your knobs, they go in this groove, and you're just going to go around your picture. And there we go. There's one. And let's grab the second one. And same thing. Center that. The little nubbies in there. And pull that off. And I always pull that off if I'm doing the outside. It's nice because I can take and pull that off first to make sure that it goes through, okay? Then we're just gonna put these pictures in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my tape right on onto the uh, laser. And then I'm gonna flip it over and it's the easiest way to get your pictures into these cute little frames and make sure that you have your picture centered exactly how you want. You wanna make sure that the tape you're, that you're putting down is right along the edges. So doing this. And see how I ran that tape right along every edge so that when I flip this back over, I can take my square pictures and I can kind of wiggle this over top and get it exactly how I want centered in there. And that way I'm seeing the part of the picture that I want to see. And then I'm just going to do the same thing with the circular pictures. Super fun, super simple. And this is, like I said, this is from the Scrap Happy 2 collection, but look, whoopsie, didn't have quite enough. I might've wanted to cut with the green blade there, guys. So when you're doing that, this is gonna work, but the green blade might've been giving me a little bit more full of room. But there we go. This still works just fine. Okay, so I'm going to bring it over and it's going to go down on my page. That is not wanting to stay. So green blade, I was worried that the green blade would give me too much, um, too much wiggle room. And that would have been bad too. So just slide this up. There's always a way to fix it because it's scrapbooking. Okay. There we go. And now I am going to show you 
what I'm going to do with the peekaboo. And this will be fun because I can show you um, I can show you how to put the peekaboo down too. So this is a four by four peekaboo. Um, we do not have a four by four mat, but I want to do some writing. So first I'm going to cut this picture out. Of course, it's already four inches top to bottom because it's a four by six picture. So I'm just going to trim it to four by four. And then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to cut a four by four um, strip or square. So there's a four inch strip. And I'll turn it and I'll cut it at four inches. And it's just, you know, it's a really fast way to have a very fancy page. So I'm just going to take this and I'm going to take this mat. So we don't have four by four uh, journaling mats, right? So we're going to take this and I always just double check it. It should be six inches and I'll cut it at three. Yep. Just want to make sure that I didn't misremember. That would be easy to do. So now I have these, this uh, three inch and I'm going to put this right here, giving myself a little spot up top. And now I'm just going to take one of my words from my word pack. And I'm going to take happiness because, of course, it's happiness anytime you get to be with your baby girl making bagels in the morning. That is what happiness looks like. So I'm going to put this across the top. And now I've made this into a four by four. I'm going to take my peekaboo. Now remember that the sticky part is always going to be on the opposite side, right? So I'm going to take this. I'm going to, I want it to, I want the sticky to be there. And I want it to go like this because I want to be able to fold that under and go that way. So I'm going to put my, my journaling so that you have to flip to see it. Because who wouldn't want this cute picture of my husband and daughter to be on top? And I guess I should have slid a page protector on here. So let me do that quick. Let me just slide a page protector on my page so you can see exactly how it works. I'm going to slide the page protector on. And I might come back and add some stickers up there at a later time, but I really want to be able to show you how this works because I get a lot of questions on peekaboos, right? People are like, does it go on top of the page protector? Does it go under the page protector? Do I just peel it and stick it down? Do I tuck it under? How do I do that? How do I do that? So I'm just going to show you real quick. So we slide our page protector on. I find that if I put it towards my body and just use my, my little tummy there as a hold, it's the easiest way to slide it on. And then I'm going to take my page, my uh, peekaboo pocket. I'm going to see this side is up. This is, this is the opening. I'm peeling this off. And then I'm going to tuck it. I'm going to tuck it. And I'm going to put it right there. And now I have this fun page. And look, I wanted to, I decided I wanted to go a little bit further that way. They move. There's no reason to worry that you're going to get it in the wrong spot. Because if you do, it just moves. And I can just scoosh it over a little. And I think I wanted to come down so you can actually move it multiple times. See, I did that on purpose so I could show you guys that. Okay. And now I have this cute little. And if I wanted to, I don't want to do this on this page, but I'm going to show you guys how it works just so that you know, because I, I showed this at a crop a couple weeks ago and people were like, woo. So um, if I wanted to, it to pull out, I could actually, see, there's the opening. So there's the sticky. I could actually take this and I could go on this side of it and put it down. And see, now it would come out like this. And you can do that as many times as you want and build yourself a little book. 
And that's a super fun thing to do, especially if you have uh, pictures that go in sequence that you all want that you want to be there. And if you change your mind and you don't want some there, check this out. It pulls right off. And then just take this, and if you stick it down to anything like this, any of your cellophane wrappers, then it will still be good whenever you come back to it, as long as you don't ball it up and put it somewhere. So, okay, guys, I hope that you learned something fun today, and I hope to see you again next week. Have a great day. Thanks for being here.